Okay, so the negative coupons um, keeps on saying that um, DACA will have a negative impact. Uh, it has a negative impact on the economy, but that is not true. Um, there are also, I feel, um, uh, they mentioned how, um, I forget, I think. Um, DACA recipients are now stealing jobs for American citizens. Uh, Nicole Chavez, Associate Advisor, CNN, September 7, 2017. Um, many economists reject those arguments, pointing out that 6 million jobs remain unfilled in the United States, a record high despite DACA recipients being employed. Experts say any protections for DACA recipients would worsen the shorter shortage of workers in the country. More than 75% of the 800,000 people with DACA permits are employed, the National Immigration Law Center said. So um, what this is saying is like, there's already many um, jobs available for citizens as well. So DACA is not, um, having DACA is not stopping, um, is not stealing jobs um, that American citizens could obtain. Um, also, um, so uh, with the DACA application, um, it is 495, and the renew fee is uh, you have to pay to renew it as well. So how could um, DACA not uh, DACA recipients not be support like helping the economy if they have to pay even to be able to obtain that program? Um, they are you know they're working um, about well, DACA recipients are contributing across all sectors of the economy. Um, Tom K. Wong, um, assistant professor of political science at the University of California, San Diego, uh, September 5, 2017. 87% um, of the respondents to the 2016 survey are currently employed, with an additional 8% not working but in school. The current survey is one of the first to systematically identify the industries in which DACA recipients are working, and, re and the results show wide-ranging labor market contributions. The DACA indicate that 21% of respondents work in educational and health services, 11% work in nonprofit sector, and 9% work in wholesale and retail trade. Um, this shows how DACA recipients are either employed or in school. So they're not just like living off like you know of benefits, um, which they can't obtain because they're not U.S. citizens. Um, even for education, there's um, they can't get FAFSA. I know there's a certain um, uh, opportunity for them to get financial aid, but it's not the same as a U.S. citizen. So. Um, yeah. Excellent. And the final speech of the debate is the two and R. <laughs> 